Hey guys, how's it going? I've got another challenge run today, and this one was actually suggested by one of you guys, which is pretty cool. So big ups to Robin, and let's get right into the rules for this one. So number one, you gotta use a fresh criminal scum. Two, you can't fight with teammates whatsoever, and if there isn't a valid fight and you can't re-roll, that's it, you lose. Three, no healing at the doctor. Four, no buying favor with patrons, and you have to ignore their positive events. So I guess we're kind of playing criminal scum on hard mode. Anyway, that's that, so let's get it going. Alright, 1v many. Okay, 1v2. That's really good. I like that. Alright. Took one hit, so that's not great, but I think the healing should cover that. So, that's like, if I can do that, if I can just take like one or two hits a fight, that'll be alright, because then I won't get in trouble having like, you know, less than a quarter of my health or something. Not the most ideal weapon to just be swinging around. 28 damage there, that's annoying. So that wasn't great. Back to having no health. Okay, Lafosi Warrior, I could deal with him. There we go, alright. I think I'm allowed to trade my fame, right? So let me do that. There we go, that'll be good. So yeah, this challenge isn't the worst in the sense that it doesn't actually mess with you during the fight, right? Like, you can fight as you would normally. The only thing that's going to actually matter for the fight itself is, like, not having all your HP. There we go. And that's really the thing, like, the fights are fine, it's just you're kind of playing on hard mode when it comes to, like, all the management stuff you would typically want to do in a normal run. The other problem with not having any health going into a fight is that you don't have any stamina. So you see, like, my max stamina is, like, about half, just over half of my bar right now. There we go. It's about time one of them died. I will take a 1v2. This should be easy enough to not take any hits and get some of my health back. I went flying. There we go. And, you know, like, I kind of just got this stuff like by chance it happened to be what came up in the store but this is probably like a spear and a shield is probably the best way to go about this challenge since it does let you be really safe there we go nice and easy get some hp back i should be around half my hp now i think Ooh, that could have been bad he came in like really aggressively See that? He, he swung one way, blocked it, and then he came right back the other way. So you always got to be ready to block, like, multiple attacks. Don't don't ever, like, don't ever drop your guard just because you blocked the first one, you know? Because a, a lot of times they like to come right back with another attack. Right there again. He got me a little bit that time. And that's another reason why, like, it's always good to just keep your weapon or your shield, whatever you're blocking with, right up on their weapons so that they can't surprise you like that. Anything they do will just smack right into your shield. Six of them on the Tarrant Pits is fine. That's, that's a fine map for doing 1v minis. The thing is, though, so normally with a criminal scum run, I would want to do this because I would want to have lots of money so I can buy favor. Since I can't buy favor, since I can't heal, there's really not much for me to spend my money on at this point since I already have my gear. So I think I'm just going to re-roll this. What I would really want is a Jordis fight that I could do, but I'm not going to get that, so I guess I'm going to go with Alora. You know, anytime you go into a 1v mini, there's a lot of risk in that, no matter like how confident you are, what kind of gear you have, like things can just go wrong. And so if there's no reason to pick the 1v mini other than, you know, for the challenge, like you don't need to pick it, you can just preserve the run if that's what you're going for. Considering I'm already, you know, playing with a challenge in place here, I don't really want to make it any harder than it needs to be. You see, I don't know if, like, it's something about the weapon or the AI or something, but especially I feel like with the Haney and Staka, enemies love to go for, like, double attacks. You see, almost every time this guy's attacking, he goes twice. I'm not allowed to pick any of these, which sucks, because these give 15% favor, so really this is... Typically, this is, like, the best uh, event you can get for, like, Criminal Scum. Fuck. 
Those second attacks are dangerous too, because like, you know, most of the time they kind of get your shield out of position a little bit with the first one. Damn it, dude. I didn't realize I only had 15 HP left. How much did he hit me for on the first one? Like, that was not... Dying was not even in my... I didn't have a single thought that I was going to die in that fight. Alright, so upon further review, I didn't only have 15 HP left. I don't know what happened there, but... Those two hits did not add up to the amount of health that I started the fight with, so... That sucks, but... I guess we're running it back one more time. There we go. That's a nice start. Oh, fuck these spikes. There we go. Tiles Dock is one of those weapons that early on it can give you super easy fights. Fuck. Fuck. They won't just give me a shield. That, that'll do. If I can get my hands on that, that would be great. As for this, this should be another fight that I can take no damage in. It's so, like, more, more annoying than going into each fight with half your health is only having half your stamina. There we go. Uh... Okay, that's interesting. So that takes away favor, but I've never picked that option before, I think. And it gives you a lot of health, so that'll be a good way for me to heal, actually. Um, okay, 1v2 I kind of like. Who are these guys? Maceman and civilian, I can do that, for sure. Small pit, by the way. Fuck, I didn't select it. You win some, you lose some. Now if I could get a 1v many, that would be cool, because I'm in like a pretty good spot for it right now. I've got some gear, I've got like a good amount of my health. Problem is, like, when the 1v minis come up, when you have, like, 20 health, like, you're not gonna do that, but then, you know, I think I have, like, 70 health or so now, so that would be alright. 80% weapon speed, how about that? Fuck, it's not helping, dude. I'm minus 35%, holy. These guys look like they all have two-handers, which is kinda cool. Except they're all shield breakers, they're gonna have, like, really armored arms, so... You can't just kill them as easily as you can with, like, executors. Actually, they don't really have too much armor. Alright, let me get to circling this way, as I like to do. Their legs are pretty open, too, so I want to hit those as well. You're allowed to die, buddy! There we go. These guys with no helmets, I'd like to hit over the head. Alright. That was good. That actually went really well in the end. I only took a couple of hits. I'm not even sure which one of these I'm supposed to pick. I guess this is kind of... This is like the better option, right? So I think I kind of have to pick this one. Mine is 46, dude. That is not a good one. I guess I'm just not getting any Jordy fights here, because I'm thinking, like, how did it get... Like, the favor get that low? I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Mine is 46? But I probably, like... If I start, if I have to restart again here, what I might do is, like, train my stamina hard in the first few weeks while I still have, like, a lot of health, you know? Or I could just get good and stop taking so much damage. Uh, what's this worth? This looks like it's worth a lot, so I could take that. Uh, I could go against the Spearmen. They're always dangerous, but I could really just crowd him. And it probably wouldn't be too bad. Fucking 33. Fuck this guy. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take this off. Go with that. And then go with the Bardiche. I'm gonna fight this, uh... This dude. Who's this? A walking elder. Hopefully I can just kill him. Like, just straight up destroy him before anything happens. That helps too. 
16 damage. I have no freaking stamina. Literally, I don't have enough stamina to, like, attack and then dodge. One more hit, though, I feel like, right? Thank you. Okay. Be cool if I could get, like, a uh, Quirus or something. There we go. I could go into this fight. Let everyone else kind of do some work for me. Hold that. Oh, and this is Jordis, too, so that's good. Get rid of that minus 55. Alright. That's the way you do it. Shit. There we go. 44. Ooh. If I could get an Iron Quirus, so that would be like the best of both worlds, but bronze it is. See what else I can get for 45% off. Could go for the Lion Helm, too. And the Feradaka. Alright. Now I'm really chilling. One more. One more. Fuck. Stamina. There we go. If I donate, I get favor, right? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Oh, nice. He doesn't even have a spear. This is over with. Damn it, dude. I was gonna go five for five, but I didn't have the stamina. Chew these guys on a little bit. I thought that said 21 damage, and I was about to lose my mind. <laughs> he took 21 damage at this point in this fight. There we go, that was a red hit. Alright, 19%. That's progress. Three fights for him, but I can't do any of them. You know, I genuinely think that the game gets easier once you kind of get past, like, the Linoleon Spearman and, like, Myrden, like infantry and man-at-arms weeks because like i don't know the like hanians just aren't as hard to deal with these guys really aren't that bad even when you get up to like fighting aspired like they're not that bad because also you usually have your gear in order by this point so that makes it easier but like something about them it's just i, I would rather fight like an aspired than like a mired in infantry sometimes still can't do jordy Still can't do them. Okay, I can do this. It's luck of the draw, which I don't love, but I will do it just because I need some fights with the guy. I'm fine with him picking up that shield because it doesn't really do anything. 15 damage. There we go. Alright. Alright, nice. Oh, that's not even a cloud. That's a Tratica? Iron Daka. Okay, I think if I pick this option, I get favor. Yeah, all right, that's good. Um, I'm still trying to get some Jordy fights here. Okay, I'm just gonna go for this before I get myself in trouble re-rolling too many times. I guess I've got plenty of gold left over though now to trade for fame as well, if I need to. Because I really don't have anything to spend on at this point other than the odd repair, probably. Shit. That's really annoying, dude, because I had my health looking nice. This guy took 32 of it. Never mind, he took a lot more. Fuck. I love not having any stamina. And this guy knows it. Hey, that went a lot worse than it needed to. Fuck it, this could be a little risky, but I'm gonna do it because I don't want to re-roll and not get a Jordy fight. Not enough stamina! Bitch boy? If I die to another Linoleon Spearman, let me tell you, things are not going to be pretty. There we go.
Robin said that the point of this challenge is to put you on the edge over a longer run. And you're definitely accomplishing that, Robin. Good job. Alora's still the best, so I want someone else here. Yeah, okay, this'll do. Motherfuck. Yeah, well, fucking... I'm gonna die. Fuck. What the fuck? Oh, it broke? Shit, I didn't even think to check that. I didn't think it was that low, dude. Ah. Fuck off, bitch. Oh my gosh. Just die. Fucking jeez, dude. Oh, spoils. Fuck you, my shield now. 0 0.2, aren't you guys generous? Alright. Fuck, let me sort out my fight. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Good one. Um, okay, I think it might be time to just hunker down in some armor here, if I can get some. Do one of these. Uh, let's, let's see how it goes, though. 1v1. May the best man win. And if I do get hit, you know, I shouldn't die. I shouldn't die to, like, any one hit here. Problem is, I also don't have any stamina. Yeah, okay, 0 0.8. That's what I like to see. There we go. I'm on edge, Robin. You happy? My stamina regen is so bad right now. Ooh. I don't know, I was messing around with his legs. Just always go for the head. There's really no reason not to. Okay, his arm's open. That's kind of good. If I can hit it. Ooh. Fucking hitting his sword every time. There we go. Oh yeah, okay, my health's looking uh, about half now. That's good. There we go. I think I found the formula. So I need a Laura now. Okay, there we go. That's beautiful. I don't know what I'm hitting on his side, but it's doing damage, so I'm going to keep hitting it. Okay, now he's got no armor and no leg. Easy. Ooh, I can donate money. That's good. I think I'm good here now with... Yeah, maybe one more fight for Mazza here. Fuck. Damn it. There we go. There we go. He dodged, like, right into that, but only took seven damage. That's not fair. That's not right. Nice sword. Boom. Oh, shit. Fuck. There we go. I think that's that. I hope that's that. I really want to be done with this challenge. Oh my gosh, yes. Thank you, dude. Let's go. I've never been happier to see this. That's awesome, dog. 
That took way too many tries. Oh my gosh. I'm happy, dude. I'm very happy. Holy. Robin, nice challenge. That was a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. All right, so that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was really fun doing like the challenge that one of you guys came up with. So if you have any more ideas, you know, drop them in the comments. I'd love to play them. Let me know on those. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.